Hello, this is Miss Magnetic. She is a superhero in from Dins, Austria. Today she is gonna show you how to make your own magnetic putty. Magnetic putty is a magnetized silly putty. Silly putty is at all based on silicone polymers with unusual physical properties. It bounces, but breaks when given a sharp blow and it can flow like a liquid. You can buy it in small doses in various online stores, or you can order some pounds of the original Dow Corning 3179 dilutant compound material at DowCorning.com. But you can also make your own mass which is nearly the same as silly putty. Okay. Let's do this. What do we need for our putty? First we need some glue. Thank you, Cobalt. and some borax. This is a rare mineral from the class of borates. Borax has been used for centuries for soaps, water softening or laundry powder. However, in the European Union it is prohibited for private use since 2009. So you should be a little bit aware. You could also try liquid starch, laundry detergent, baby powder or liquid soap instead but borax works best. Thank you, Nicole. To magnetize our putty we need some magnetite, also known as iron to 3 oxide. It's a black powder, and it's ferrimagnetic. Ferrimagnetic, not ferromagnetic. You can buy it on eBay. Thank you, Mangan. If you want you can use some silicone oil to soften up the putty. We ordered our online. Thank you, Cobalt. And some castor oil for a better viscosity of the putty, available at your local pharmacy. Thank you, Nicol. Last but not least we need some water for mixing. Thank you, Mangan. Okay, here we go. We will make a big magnetic putty, not so big as the inexpressible seagull Zerkakov Scream Slider which will play an important role in our upcoming movie Attack of the Inexpressible Seagull Zerkakov Scream Slider, but yeah, quite big. We will take 400 milliliters water and 400 gram, that has 14 ounces, glue. Mix it good. In the next step we will add 200 gram, that has 7 ounces, magnetic to make our putty ferri magnetic. Mix it good. Now we need a saturated solution with borax. So take another 400 milliliters of water. Put a spoon of borax into it. Now mix it. You will see that the water will lose its transparency. Add some more borax. At a certain point the water can't take any more borax and it will just sink to the bottom. Our saturated solution is ready. Now we add the saturated solution with borax in small steps. Let's take 5 milliliters of the solution. Mix it. Another 5 milliliters of the solution. Mix it. Now you should feel the mass is getting harder and harder. Maybe we take another 5 milliliters of the solution and mix it. Voila! Here it is. 
our low magnetic party. There is a little bit too much water in it, so we have to knead it for some minutes. To make our putty a little bit softer we will add some drops of silicone oil. Knead it again for some seconds. Last step. We will add some drops of castor oil. That makes our putty a little bit less thick. Need it again for some seconds. Here it is. Our own magnetic putty. Try it with a small neodym magnet. It's alive. Of course you can take a bigger magnet. Or a death magnet. But be careful, knives. Folks, scissors, magnets, are not for kids and not for pets. Your magnetic putty will eat everything if you don't pay enough attention. Okay, hope you liked it, Miss Magnetic. Keep strong and attractive. <laughs>